Hey folks, this is Noble Rambler, and welcome to another episode of Farming Simulator 17. We're in Goldcrest Valley, and I am in my Mad Max mobile. As uh, Klaus had suggested last time, this is uh, quite the, the vicious uh, attachment here. It's our bail spike. Anyway, this guy was kind of left here at the end of last episode because we delivered the wool and didn't have time to go take it back. So let's... Let's go and do that real quick. Uh, let's try the uh, the other forward. There we go. Um, I'm actually not supposed to be recording this episode right now. I'm supposed to be recording, well, re-recording the first episode of my new series. If you saw the Christmas, uh, little, uh, um, you know, Merry Christmas to everybody that I put on my my channel. I ended it with the intro video to the next series, and that was Transport Fever had fun playing with my uh, video editor and found a way to kind of sepia tone it make it look like old film and scratchy and that was kind of fun but I recorded the first episode and found that when I went to edit it afterward there was no mouse pointer now my oops my uh, recording software has an option to turn off the mouse pointer so it doesn't record it but that option was not checked. So I went through and re-recorded some test videos with and without that option. It didn't, didn't make any difference. Um, I went through lots of different graphic options here or in uh, Transport Fever, uh, turning them on and off and recording each way and nothing changed. All the different uh, sh you know, shaders and shadows and reflections and um, oh, you name it all that it has available I, I hit about every option that was in there I could not get the mouse to record I switched back over to this game and it recorded just fine wiggle it around you can see it everywhere and it records fine in room world obviously it will not record in that game and I don't know what to do other than get a different kind of recording software and trying that so I mean I could download some OBS or something like that see if that makes a difference but I don't know why Fraps would not do the job. So, that is on hold. I was really wanting that to be kind of like a Christmas present for the channel, but it didn't work. Yeah, there's a deer in my mirror over there. Uh, let's see, Q gets rid of that. And I'll back up a little so it doesn't look like I'm attached. Alright, we're good. Let's get the truck back to the yard. And... Got to figure out just what to do this episode since I wasn't planning on, on recording this game. I wanted to record something. I'm sitting here, I've, I've played with, you know, probably 15, 20 different uh, recordings. Hey, I missed a spot. Um, of trying to troubleshoot that of the game. So, turn this one on. Thought I'd go ahead and hop out an episode. So, I got to figure out what needs to be done. I don't know one thing needs to be done. We need to notice that our grass is growing. So this is level two here, out over there. <laughs> there we go. The other half of the field is level one of growth. I'm guessing this is level three, so this should match this when it's done. Then we'll go through and mow it. Uh, we need to get the sowers going in both the other fields and get them finished up. We'll put our equipment away over there. Then maybe we'll head out and pick up the mowers. So that uh, we'll be ready to, to do that when the time comes. Let me get back in cab. Ah, much better. Less stressful in here with this with this one. Some of the tractors are like the front loader is much easier from the outside, but the truck, the pickup is is uh, much more comfortable inside. Let's. Uh, I guess we'll go this way. Kind of. Now, I know one thing I was going to check before I started the episode, and I spaced that one out. Let's do that one now. Uh, turn him off. Klaus had suggested, at least I think it was Klaus, pretty sure it was, had suggested we get the, uh, I want to say it was like a refueling tank. I used to have one in Farming Simulator 2013 and 15. It was a mod that I added to it. 
I went through looking through all the mods and couldn't find it. So I'm guessing it is part of the game now, but I didn't see it before. I, I need to fuel up a lot of tractors, and I can either drive them all to the gas station, or I can find it, cars, here and pick it up, buy it. I'm not seeing anything. It's not a miscellaneous. Oh, I did add these. Fuel store trailer. I guess this is it. Okay. The the it's called fuel proof. This is a mod from uh, uh, the opening menu of of Farming Simulator 17. <laughs> um, it's called fuel proof, but the description didn't mention fuel anywhere. It was a real weird description. So it was kind of misleading as to what it really was. I mean, it says fuel proof on it, but normally these tanks would be red for fuel. And it just talked about how durable they were, but it didn't actually say what they did or what, what you put in them. So this makes more sense. This is a three point hitch here. This is a trailer. So let's grab this guy. Um, select. And no options, so we'll buy it. 3400 So that'll be waiting for us to pick up over there. Um, back out of this. Now what? <clears throat> let's... Yeah, let's just toggle over. Let's get this guy going. So he is planting... Where is it? There it is right there. Oil seed radish. Alright, so we'll hire him out. And we'll toggle to the next one. He is planting uh, beets. So we'll get him going again and hire him out. And we will toggle over. And we're there. I want to get to the blue tractor. Oh, well, let's go with this one right here. Got to get this guy put away. So everything has been cultivated. We are done. Yeah. So, X... Is he in the air? Well, he is now. Okay. X folds him up. Let's put him away. Wow, that turned too far. I wonder if I can do that from the cab. It's always a challenge. It's a challenge of figuring out when to start turning from this view. You see the blind spot there? I just shoot through the blind spot and hope that I can... Yeah, I can kind of gauge that now. We'll go with that. Too far. There we go. That works. Now depth. There's the wheel. I can make a guess that I'm about two feet from the end. Let's see if that's true. How can I get out there? Yeah, about where I thought I was. Yep, yeah, that'll work. Okay, Q. Get him out of there, out of this roof. Yeah, we need to get that guy put away. This one we're going to drive to pick up the uh, the mower. So we'll put this guy kind of right here. And let's run out and get this one. <clears throat> Didn't realize we left so many trees here. Oh, it's not the other uh, field. That's off to the edge. Okay. But this one... Are we going to need him any time soon? Oh, we're not, because we have more sunflowers to do. Okay. Where do we want to store those? Think about that. The combine is stored where? He's up here. So it makes sense that the header's up here, too. Um... But... We wouldn't be doing it yet. Well, that's a dolly. <laughs> yeah, we're going to go this way. But, yeah, we're going to want to unload onto this and put it in there. So there's no point putting it in there first. We'll never get him turned inside that bay to drop it off. So we'll just leave it out here. That looks good right alongside the, the, uh, the, the shed right here do that. Okay. So he's there. Put this guy away. And I'm thinking we're going to 
go pick up a mower deck that matches the little one over there. And we'll pick up our fuel tank at the same time and go fill them up. Then we'll load this guy up and kind of be ready for mowing. Because I don't think there's anything else for us to do right now. We've got these guys planting. <clears throat> this guy... Zoom out a little bit. Actually, let's go back. Let's stare at this a little while. Okay, so you're getting... That's stage one. Okay, so no plowing needed. All right. Anyway, uh, growth. Is that where I'm at? That was growth. Cultivated. We're stage one. That guy is stage probably two. Well, three. Yep. That's all we own in this guy. And he's not been fully grown yet either. Growth. There is no... He's probably not going to show up since he's grass. As to where he's at. I wonder what that's going to look like. It used to be that in the older versions, the brown would go away as you planted grass, and it just became grass like all of this right here. And that's why I couldn't release Transport Fever. <laughs> I, that first episode, I edited it and I left notes in there apologizing that there's no pointer, but there's so many times when I would do something like, like this grass right here. Without the pointer, that makes no sense. You're just sitting there staring at a screen. So I couldn't release it. So, but normally these guys would disappear and you'd end up with just green in here. So this is all different to me. So I got to see just how it represents it when it gets to its uh, uh, full size, uh, full growth. <clears throat> anyway, yeah, there's nothing more we can do with our fields here. Um, pull out of this. We could go collect the last of the chicken eggs and then drop those off when we head into town. Let's do that. So wander through here and step on all the eggs and it magically transports into our backpack. Not that I've ever seen my doppelganger in a... Uh, in a tractor cab wearing a backpack. Is that how it's worded? Go to statistics. Eggs and backpack. Yep. Okay. I think we're done enough in here. <laughs> jumping out of there like I'm in Skyrim. Do a lot of jumping in Skyrim. It's very forgiving. In fact, I used to do that, enjoying Skyrim, and then get into Minecraft and jump and get injured. And forget that you don't have the same uh, you know, flexibility one game to the other. Um, yeah, I was just thinking I'm supposed to be bringing something with me. Nope, we're fine. Jump in the cab here. <clears throat> there we go. All right, eggs to drop off, and then a mower to buy, sneak in front of that car, a fuel tank to bring back, and then what? There's always contracting a field, especially a field that we're going to want to buy. Let's see, I'm trying to remember where the eggs were. I have to remember there are left-hand turners in this town. Gotta watch out for those. Eggs are... I see it... Now well, I guess I don't have everything turned off. It's just not in my mini-map yet. Or is it? No, well, there's gas. Alright, let's check that. Is everything turned on? Everything's turned on. Eggs... It's not going to tell me. I'm going to have to find it. Okay. Could have been over there. Whoa! Drunk driver. Actually, delayed keys. Press the, uh, the right and he starts to go press the left and it takes a while for it to stop going right and start going left. 
And I cannot see out the side here. Where are the eggs at? I think there's a sensitivity setting for the for the keys. We gotta try to uh, loosen that up a little bit, make it more sensitive, make it respond faster. <clears throat> the eggs are in this first block on this street somewhere. I just don't know where. Oh well, we'll stumble across them accidentally somewhere. But I want to go, I think, around this corner and into here. Oh, hello. Excuse me. <laughs> I'm going to get my license taken away from me today. All right, there's the fuel tank. Let's pull this guy over here and go ahead and buy a mower deck. All right, mowers. Wind rower, mower. We've got this guy. We want to buy this guy. So select. Nothing to choose and buy. 42,000 more. And that's because we chose with the poll that last time to buy field 11 and then do all of the different types of mowings and balings and, and you name it. And there's our three point hitch. But off this end over here, we can attach the smaller one and actually get all three connected together. I wonder if anything else will attach to this. I wonder if you can set up the wind rower to this point right here. I'll have to experiment with that. That'll give us something fun to do this episode. We'll experiment with that. So, fire him up and let's, for now, we'll connect. Let's go a little further back. Right there. Um, no, I gotta put him in the front. I think it will attach from either side. Seems like it did that on my, uh, my own uh, personal map outside of this series. And then I had a hard time figuring out how to get the little guy to connect because I was backwards. But I, either way, I need to put the tank in behind. Because pushing that tank from the front would be a challenge I am not up to. <laughs> Constantly backing up a trailer for miles. All right, hook you up and fill you up. Gas from here. Let's go to nine. So we have gas down there. So by the farm, there really was no gas. I went looking for it a couple episodes ago. There's only one up there at three and four, and one down there by 28. I thought there were more on the map. I really did. That we saw more of them when we did the tour of the town early, early on. Okay, so we want to head back behind and go all the way to the end. And it'll be in that block. Okay. Let's go this way. Helper I has completed their task. Who would that have been? That was probably the Beats. That was the bigger sower. Driving through a town of zombies here. Ah, left-hand turner. <laughs> Long ago, when I did drive through here, I just kept noticing that they always made right turns. So I made that comment once. Apparently I was wrong. Okay, so fuel is in that last block, but over on that side right over there. Can we get to it from here? We cannot. We can't from this one either, so we'll go around the other side. Fill up the fuel tank. Now, where are you going? I wish the game would put blinkers on them. Oh, there are blinkers on them. Okay, wish come true. Now, let's go to this one. We were really driving this tractor with this attachment on the front. Which bay would you pull into? Make sure it doesn't try to fuel the tractor up, so we'll do that. Alright, R, what happens? Oh, I see. That's my attachment down there, my trailer. Okay. So it looks like we're going to get a thousand gallons into that. Great. Uh, 
Well, I'm thinking gallons, but what do you want to bet it's liters? Yep, it's probably liters. Fuel cost $1,600. Wow. A liter is, a, is pretty close to a quart. I'm going that way. So... Well, uh, now it's too late at night to do that kind of math. How much is that a gallon? Around here we pay about two fifty, two dollars and fifty cents a gallon. That seems that's a dollar sixty-seven per liter. So that's well, that's what like seven dollars a gallon. Kind of something's a little off there. Of course, maybe in uh, in Europe that's a normal price. I don't know. It's not here. Oh, that little tank looks so puny. <laughs> we brought the pickup truck that would look uh, probably uh, pretty proportional. There is one field that I would like to uh, to contract out at least. And that's uh, that skinny field over by field five for, I think his name was Joshua Allen. Let's see, that'd be field 9. Yeah, Joshua Allen. He's got field 13 as well, so we want to get his price taken down as soon as possible so that we can uh, take advantage of that and get those fields. It's just up the road there at the end. It runs right into it. Alright, so I'm thinking rather than tow fuel to everything, we're just going to put the fuel out in this main island here, this middle island. Um, buy the car wash? No. Let's do something like this. I drive through the bushes here. I hit something. Let's be uh, a little... The, the shed there must go a little further out than it shows. Alright, I want to do something like this. And I'm on the back one. Well, let's take it a little further this way first. Like that. And like that. Right there. There we go. And, tell you what, let's test it. Let's back up into here and see if I can refuel. Right there, R, there we go. It's probably not going to last that long, is it? Whoa, how big a tank's this thing got? <laughs> yeah, that's not going to last that long. I should have fueled him up while I was out there. Didn't think about that. Alright, that's enough. Let's save some for the rest. But let's set this guy up and experiment with it while we're kind of waiting. Speaking of waiting, I need to get my time back up. I'm taking it down while I started the episode and kind of stared at it a while to figure out what on earth I was going to do. But let's V drop him down. Pretty sure I need to get on the other side. Uh, the yellow will be the same on both, so, yeah, I need to be on the other side. So let's cue him back up. Can I get to that one from there? I don't think I can. So in that case, let's drag him out first. And, yeah, I'm on the wrong side of that one, too. So we'll do it like this. Just get him out here ways so we can get to him. Now, yellow in front and yellow in front. But I want him in front, so I gotta get behind. I know, you're, you're probably confused. I know what I'm saying. <laughs> right there. I'll hook him up. Now the yellow side of it, we'll say the front edge, is the same on all of them. So this is the right direction with the all interlink. Now, what I'm thinking about, um, let's fold this mess up. Oh, it doesn't work as a unit, okay? 
G and X. There we go. Everything's in the air. Imagine the weight on that. We're kind of bulging the front tires. It's, it's quite a bit. But let's back him up and grab the wind rower. This is what I want to do in field 11. A part of it, the tether for other parts. Let's do something like, be careful not to hit out there. Where am I? Let's back up a little further, curve into there. And we're there. Cute. There we go. And let's see if we can sneak out of here. Perfect. Let's take this out over here and experiment. This is kind of what I used to do in my previous versions of this game. Except we didn't have the ability to put all three of these together. So this will be new. But let's see what happens here. X, G, X, G, X. Nope, that didn't work. Uh, okay, I'll do it again. How do I get out to the very front? Right there. That's, a, that's what I thought I did. Okay. So if we go back to this one and lower it, it should lower all of it, right? Yes. Nope, it didn't. It lifted that one up. Alright, so G out to that one. No, it didn't lift it up. You just... Maybe the ground is a little higher right there. I see. Alright, so let's fire that one up. That's the little guy in front. And he's green now down there, which means he's running. So let's fire up this guy. Ah, love the sounds. And let's fire up this guy. Try that again. There he goes. We'll X that one. No, we're going to do V that one. There we go. So, survive all of that. I'm having to push the pedal way down to get this thing to go. And we are definitely hitting the, uh, the top end of the available horsepower on this guy. You can see what's happening now. We're mowing it, we're windrowing it all in one step. This is the way to mow Field 11. But wow, I am really struggling to get up this hill. And yeah, we need a little bit bigger tractor to do this for real. see this. <laughs> yep, I'm having fun. See why it's easy to come home from work and dive into this game. Oh, watch that stump there. And all of a sudden it's 10 o'clock at night and you're wondering where the evening went. I'm able to hit, actually, 11 miles an hour might be the uh, the peak for one of these two um, attachments. That might be more of what I'm seeing, rather than the tractor hitting the, uh, the, the edge of its ability. Still 11 miles an hour, yeah. So that's the speed limit for one of these. If not all of them. I don't remember what the windrower ran at when we used it before. Now I'm going <clears> to <throat> drive over the old rows, or the existing rows, and kind of make a mess of this, but the wind drawer behind me should even it all out and kind of fold it all together again. If not, it'll just be that much more of a challenge when we go th through here to bail it. But this I think we will bail, and uh, maybe make silage bales out of it. We'll see. pass through to kind of clean that up. If you 
get it just right, you can combine open these two rows into one. Huh, as I hit the new grass, it slowed down. That was interesting. I kept track of that. Alright. That looks pretty good. Looks like there's a little bit of something going on up there. Let's combine these two rows together all the way to the top. And no, there wasn't. That was just a distance graphic. It changed when I got closer. So we'll pull in here. And... Can I clip off all that? I can't. Let's get the front turned off. So, where am I here? G and B, that one. And go ahead and fold it up. And I gotta do it again. G, B, fold up. There we go. And V, there we go. Now we'll pull this guy forward and finish that row, kind of bring it to an end there. Alright. So we will G and B and X that one. Alrighty, so you get a sense of how you can combine these tools and do fun things. He might fit through here. <laughs> Let's find out. Oh, I want to get a lot closer in. Yeah, I think we're going to make that. Okay. So, what now? We're going to be using this whole setup soon. Should I just leave it all together? What's happening between now and then? Harvesting that and cultivating that, which means this tractor. Yeah, we got to put it away. Alrighty, so put it away. That sounds a little more... A little easier said than done. But that's what's fun about this. That's the challenge. He goes in the far corner. Get him out to the middle here. Okay. Bring him in. Too hard. Pull back. Try it again. There we go. Now, is that gonna... That's gonna right there. Turn him around. Forward a little. Actually, I can wait for the... See, it takes a while for those front wheels to actually turn. So if I'm going a hard right, then i got to quickly do a hard left. It's about two seconds to get around there. There we go. So it is hard to pull out of a sharp turn. Because the keyboard does take a long time to make the, make the, uh, the wheels move. I'll have to take a look at the sensitivity of, of that. I think there's a way I can adjust that. Um, you're done, and I've got the right one selected. So Q... And then this group here I can probably leave together. He goes in front. Okay. So let's turn around. You can see the whole tractor wobbling hard on the suspension here. Yeah, he's, the shocks are taking a beating right now. Let's move this out into here. Straight in. Like so. And we'll park him right about there. So, that's right, I cannot V to lower him down. I just have to drop him. Yeah, that works. Okay. So he's done. Wage payments. Yeah, that's right. What's going on out here? This one should be done. Yep, he's in the top corner. This one over here. He's out over there. And he is still moving. Okay. So let's toggle... Hello? Toggle out to that tractor. There he is. Fire him up. Everything here looks good. And he has fertilized, so there's no need to run the fertilizer right now. Are we in the air? We are. Okay. Let's go put him away. Boy, this thing gets filthy. I wonder if certain tools are, are just programmed to get dirty faster because of their most likely application. They're going to be like a plow. You would expect to come back filthy immediately. Um, X. Let's pull him up and go give him a bath. And this is the case tractor, but he's full of fuel, so I don't have to worry about filling him up. The uh, New Holland is about empty. we got to go grab that one. Get that one done. 
But let's clean this guy up. I'm pretty sure that the seed is loaded into these lids right here. I'll have to look this this uh hmm. Vaderstad? Vaderstad? Not how you pronounce an A with the two dots over the top. But uh I have to look this up in the real world and see uh, how that one loads. I would have assumed that the seed was right up here. And it distributed down those tubes right there, but I guess it makes more sense that each of these are filled and they're, they're each responsible for what gets dropped right there. I guess that makes sense. And the fertilizer must drop right here. Yeah, okay. But I wish that the animation showed those lids opening when you went to put seed in. That way you knew for a fact that you were doing what you assumed you were doing. Okay. Yeah, that's good enough. Let's get this put away. And he lives there. You know, can I do that from here? I can sure try. I can get it wrong, too. Uh, there we go. Yeah, but I cannot tell my depth. And the other one goes in behind, so he will be right out front. Let's put him in this way, right next to the edge and, and right at the very front here. That's good. Alright, let's grab the new hull and fill him up. Then we'll probably finish this episode doing the uh, field nine, We're contracting it. There we go. I'm stuck. Yep, he needs gas. Nope, that's right. That's done in, in here. R. There we go. Yeah, this tractor is more for what that tank was made for. I can fill up you know, a few of these guys. All right. Okay, so we're waiting. We're not waiting. We're ready. Okay, well, that wasn't my plan, but I guess that's what we're doing. Let's get him started. Sunflower's ready. Yep. Okay, let's do it. Pull him into here. And what? I still want to put those away. Need to grab the trailer. I'll go ahead and hire this one out and get him going. And let him do his thing. And let's grab... I guess we'll grab this guy over here. And uh, put just one trailer on it. Trailers are way out there. Put this guy away over here, this, uh, this uh, sower, and see if that tractor needs a, a fuel up. Maybe next time we'll get into contracting field nine, or field, yeah, nine. All right, so what do I want here? Let's grab this larger one.
And I'm guessing he could do most of this field before he's going to be full. So let's get this guy put away. How tall are these? So they're six to seven feet tall, which is about right. Yeah, that's about right if they're the... Uh, I've grown them that tall, too. So that's proportional. All right, so this was oilseed radish. So when he comes in, we've got to uh, cultivate him back under. Let's get him put away. We're in the air. And we're almost out of fuel, so let's do that first. this stuff down and get them put away. I have a feeling we're going to be transporting this fuel tank to gas stations quite often. <laughs> now I'm used to it being about twice that size in red. That's the mod that I had used long ago for this game. Kind of like these red barrels over here. All right, that's where I'm going to wash this guy. Get over here so it's not so loud. <clears throat> I wonder what you would attach to the front here. I mean, that's the same trailer hitch as this guy. But what attaches to the... Well, unless you're pulling. I guess you could pull the trailer backwards, but why would you do that? Maybe that's just to be able to attach... a tow rope to it, and then to another vehicle, and, and be able to pull the tractor that way. I'm trying to think of when you would realistically attach something that has that hitch right there. I, I kind of didn't expect to see a hitch of any kind. Hmm. Alright, you're done. Pop back into you. And let's back you into there. Now he was all the way in the corner. Is there a need for anything else Oh, this, these roofs. Alright, let's just move to right there and stop. What else would go in this this shed here, this uh, covering? Are right, you going to go there? Yeah, you're there. Cute. To go in the space in front of them. Can't think of anything right now. Let's see what uh, implements we buy next. This guy's fueled up, cleaned up, he's ready to store. And let's go and dump our harvester down see what condition he's in or what quantity can't do anything from this side so we'll wait till he comes back actually tell you what Let's hop in, not that one, let's hop into him. He's half filled. Okay. Let's instead go do one more task that needs to be done. Could actually do a little bit of uh, bailing right there too. Where am I at? 45-ish minutes? Probably not this time. But let's grab the stump grinder and go clean up that one stump that's kind of driving me nuts. Now get in here real close so the roof doesn't bounce me around. Is that close enough? There we go. When he comes back again, we'll dump him. For right now, 
Where did I bury that stump? There he is. Right there. Alright, so... B... And... There he is. Is he gone? He's gone. Alright, he's at that end over there. I don't think we're going to have time to... Uh, you know, we just might. Let's go put him away. I think we'll get back in time. We'll do some speed backing. <laughs> and lower him, we'll do that. Okay. That's close enough. Cue him, let's go. Oops, one of the wrong keys. It's not turning. Alright, yep, that worked out pretty well. We'll just swap vehicles here. Looked like his lights were on. Yeah, I did hit the wrong one, didn't I? There. F. There we go. Alright, let's catch this guy. Oh, interesting. I see the cruise control is still set for six. I would have assumed that that uh, uh, would have defaulted back to full speed because it turned the game off. There we go. So I'm at six and he's going six and a half. So he's slowly advancing up the trailer. Let's hit two. Oh, I got his way. All right. Let's do this then. We'll just park it right here and let him finish. Get any closer, it gets loud. All right, he wants to go this way, and we'll just leave this down here for the end. Otherwise, I've still got another five minutes or so to kill. What do we do? Let's go grab the baler. Get that too late. All right, so we want to lower it, get it started. That's right, we have an almost full bale of straw in here. As soon as we touch the grass, it's going to become an almost full bale of grass. Of course, I missed the grass. <laughs> Let's go up here. <laughs> there we go. And he's grass. Let's take it up here and out of the way. Um, yeah, it'll be nothing to do in this area for a while. And that was why, right? Yeah. Yep, hay magically transforms to grass. Now, if we can just turn lead into gold, we'll have it made. Well, we kind of did that by finding the 100 gold nuggets. Yeah, I think so. That was like winning the lotto. All right, grab this one and this one. And we'll pretend like we intended to go out to this one. There we go. Oh, we did miss a little spot there. 
But you can see how quickly we're going to be able to plow through Guild 11 with that set up. And also how quickly this thing fills up because we condense all those rows into uh, one larger row. He's almost finishing over there. Yeah, I got that. Stay to the outside edge to make that catch. And I'll we'll clean up that little bit over there. And just dive into here. Let's see if we can get into his way. <laughs> Almost. Alright, we'll grab this one. Nope, did miss a spot. We don't own the bell wrapper yet, do we? Okay, that's all part of the. Uh, oh, it just popped right before my eyes. The other one too? No, just this one. That's the beginning of our beets. That's going to be an expensive crop to harvest. I have to start working some more contract jobs on the side just to be able to afford to run the series. <laughs> All right, let's drop him off. Actually, he's moving forward a little bit right there. Okay. Uh, there we go. So he's on his last row over there, and by the same timing, we'll finish off our the last of our grass over here. Whoa, that was quick. That's why we can we combined this one into two, so it did it twice as fast. There is a mod to automatically dump this round baler, but I'd much rather just go get the uh, the square baler, which is all automated. You have to watch that little number down there hit 4,000 each time. And strain your finger trying to reach that Y key. Sometimes I wonder while I'm recording this game if I'm talking loud enough for the mic to pick it all up. It's a much more relaxing game. So I tend to get comfortable and yeah, my voice volume drops. So I have to remember to lean in here a little bit toward the mic rather than uh, lean back in the chair and enjoy the game. Big difference right there between playing a game and recording a game. Playing it, back reclining, and, and this, uh, well, this one's not super comfortable, but it's pretty good. Comfortable chair here, and just enjoying myself. We got a little straggler out over there, which I did not get. Let's try that one more time. There it is. And I think that is everything. Alright, let's park him here. And this guy's ready to catch those last few little pieces and call this one done. Oh, got a bunch of stuff to spit out there. Fire him up. Actually, we'll just do the one little one right here. Call that finished. Why is that not working? G. There we go. Go, knock him out, dump him off, and go park him. Um, yeah, maybe we'll go fuel him. Probably a better plan. Well, that was, I don't know, maybe a half a trailer load, a third. 
Not a whole lot. Oh, we need to return this guy. That's right. And there's something I don't know. Well, when you sell something, you get more if you take it to the store. But leasing shouldn't have anything to do with that, other than just realism. So... Hmm. I was going to say, for realism's sake, let's drive out there and, le and, and return it. But... Well, okay. Let's see how many... Tell you what, I'll, I'll skip through the drive. We'll do that. Because at 14 miles an hour, this is going to take a while. I do want to keep these videos to under an hour. Long ago, I really wanted to hold them in the uh, 20 to 30 minute range, and 40 felt extravagant. I probably should have this on a trailer, shouldn't I? Uh, well, I'll stop talking so that I can magically appear. Over here at the store, only my sentence was supposed to flow together. And right in the middle of it, the game tossed in that great demand that I couldn't just skip. So now we know what we'll be doing next time. I probably should put this in this box over here. So next time we've got a great demand for corn. Oh. We don't have any corn. Huh. Well, I guess we don't have to worry about that. Anyway, let's V G V. And Q. Alright. Pull him out of here. And hop out. Alright. Return. Tool has been returned. Okay. Let's call this one done. Wow. The game just started lagging on me. Yep. I've been playing for an hour. For some reason, when I am recording, I only get an hour and then it does this. So, let's call this one done. This has been Noble Rambler. Thank you guys for watching. And I'd appreciate it if you hit the like down there. And subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll catch you next time, folks. Bye-bye.